Our big story tonight, women taking control of their health after learning they're at high risk of getting breast or ovarian cancer. Angelina Jolie shared her story last year of undergoing a double mastectomy after learning she had the BRCA1 gene, which gave her a 90% chance of getting breast cancer. After surgery, it's now less than 5%. And since Jolie's disclosure, one study reports a massive increase in women being tested in what researchers call the Angelina Jolie effect. I love Angelina Jolie. She's so terrific to <laughs> a, do this. A lot of people do. Well, doctors are thrilled about the recent awareness for this often life-saving procedure. So now Jackie Kutcher shares a local woman's story that may empower you. I just felt numb. I was like... It's just awful. It's At just 30 years old, Christy Zeekley learned her chance of getting breast cancer was nearly 90%. Learning that, it was traumatizing. <laughs> she has the BRCA1 gene passed down through her father's mom. Well, it just made me think of my grandmother who had breast and ovarian cancer at my age and she fought it off and on her whole entire life. So I saw her go through it and it just made me not want to have the same type of life. This news came last December and this past March with the support of good friends and her husband, Christy opted for a double mastectomy. The 31 year old says while it was difficult, it was a no brainer. I felt grateful uh, having the opportunity to be proactive and change the future for my life. Because of genetic testing, many more women are able to do the same thing. There are certain mutations are called that are running in families that may be predisposing someone to the development of breast cancer. Those are the people that we're after now to try to identify them. Dr. Thomas Hack is a breast health surgeon with the Premier Health Network. He's grateful for people like Angelina Jolie who are helping to not only get people into their doctor's offices to be tested, but also to make radical but life-saving decisions. And with this preventative surgery, Dr. Heck says they can often keep the structure of the breast intact while just removing the tissue. And I do what's called nipple sparing mastectomies. So no skin's removed. The, ni the nipple and the areola are not removed whatsoever. Christy's risk of getting breast cancer is now in the single digits, but she still carries a high risk of getting ovarian cancer. She and her husband want a family, but her window is small since doctors say having a hysterectomy by the time she's 35 will reduce her odds. Odds she only knows about because of genetic testing. It's a blessing because if it wasn't for that, who knows when cancer would have come or it would have hit. And I don't know if I would have been able to withstand that. She wishes her grandmother had that option. I think she'd be proud. I think she'd be really proud of me. And that's something that kind of pushed me to it. In Dayton, Jackie Kutcher, Fox 45 News. We women need to know our risk. Well, Good Samaritan Hospital has a simple quiz for you. You can take online to see if you are indeed at higher risk. A couple of questions is asked is, uh, do you have a family member who has had breast or ovarian cancer? Or have any men in your family ever had breast cancer? Yes, men get breast cancer too. To see that entire questionnaire, we do have a link on our website, fox45now.com. Just click on news links.